Connecting Wii Motion Plus. Have the Wii Motion Plus accessory and the Wii Remote ready. Ensure that the white arrow is visible on the lock switch. Insert the front of the Wii Remote into the jacket as far as it will go. Feed the Wii Remote wrist strap from the inside of the jacket through the strap hole and pull until all of the wrist strap and cord are visible. Make sure that the jacket is not folded under the corners of the Wii Remote and gently pull the sensor unit up at an angle, moving it from side to side so that the Wii Remote is fully inside the jacket. Holding down the levers on both sides of the sensor unit, connect to the Wii Remote. If the cord is caught, pull the strap through until it is released. Be sure to slide the lock switch in the direction of the arrow until it locks. Put your hand through the wrist strap and tighten the strap lock. If the strap lock has a lock lever, close the lever to hold the strap lock in place. Wii Motion Plus is now connected. Disconnecting Wii Motion Plus. Slide the lock switch down. While holding down the levers on both sides of the sensor unit, Pull directly away from the Wii Remote in a clean, straight motion and slide the jacket under the Wii Remote. Ensuring that the strap does not get caught, remove the Wii Remote. Wii Motion Plus is now disconnected. After disconnecting Wii Motion Plus, attach the Wii Remote jacket to the Wii Remote. Connecting the nunchuck. Have the nunchuck ready along with your Wii Remote with Wii Motion Plus connected. Disconnect the connector cover by gripping both sides with your fingers and removing it. Connect the nunchuck plug to the Wii Motion Plus accessory. For your safety, thread the cord through the connector hook. Be sure to push the connector cover firmly into place. The nunchuck is now connected. If control becomes unstable during play, please perform this corrective procedure. 
Place the Wii Remote with Wii Motion Plus connected face down on a stable surface, such as a table. Leave for a few seconds. The Wii Motion Plus corrective procedure is now complete. If control remains unstable after performing the corrective procedure, please refer to the Wii Operations Manual or visit support.nintendo.com. Thank you. 